Dear listeners, good morning and welcome to Comme d'Archi, the podcast that opens the doors to the fascinating world of architecture. For newcomers, let me introduce myself. I'm the spokesperson of Anne-Charlotte Despont, PhD in History of Architecture, published author, head of a communication and development agency based in Paris, France, dedicated to architecture. Let's meet every week to discuss culture and architecture with specialists and learn how to look at projects through a context and diversity lens. Thank you for being with me today, and now it's time for talent. Bienvenue dans Comme d'Archi. Dear listeners, hello. This is Esther on behalf of Anne Charlotte. I am delighted to be with you again in season 3 of Comme d'Archi, episode 4. Today we are meeting in English to discuss a project, an architectural and deeply human story told by Guillaume Sicard. Guillaume Sicard is an architect graduated from the École Nationale Supérieure de Versailles in 2011. He leads the agency Raw Architecture, which he created in 2016. Trained in the quality of housing and the city by the agency Leclerc et Associés, he refined his vision through a large number of agencies and projects to forge his own architectural conviction, one that defends the specificity of territories, the sharing of places and uses as a pleasure to live in. By participating in numerous competitions, he proposes projects that emphasize the innovation of cities. For Réinventer Paris 2, on the Place des Vosges site, raw architecture designed a co-living project in a heritage building. For the call for projects Let's Invent the Metropolis of Tomorrow, the agency imagines a mixed-use, depolluting tower on the Kremlin Bicêtre site. The activity of the agency is essentially turned towards the production of housing and the reflection which accompanies it. A member of the Maison de l'Architecture Île-de-France since 2017, Guillaume Sicard worked with Francis Soler, Grand Prix d'Architecture, on the Initiative Logement Project. It is an initiative that aims to declare housing vital, of general interest, by bringing together the various components of the housing world. In turn, in 2019, he proposed the Spring of Winter project by surrounding himself with a multidisciplinary team. This project, conducted over two years in the form of recorded and documented interviews, questions the notion of aging well in the city. It aims to rethink the residential path of a growing generation, that of independent, retired people in demand of new urbanities. Guillaume Sicard's desire for architecture comes from the territory where he grew up, that of northern Brittany in the west of France. From Combourg, city of the castle of the romantic writer François-René de Chateaubriand, to Saint-Malo, the coarser city from where the rum race starts, a solo transatlantic sailing race, Passing by the Cordeliers Convent in Dinan, a medieval strategic point on the banks of the Rance. He has always lived around thick granite walls, both protector and defender. He invites you to read Histoire d'une forteresse by Eugène Violet le Duc. The book dates back to 1874 and explains the history of the constitution of the cities of the old continent. From their defensive origins until the 19th century, from the importance of access to water, the relationship to topography, the relationship to the image of power, to the relationship between attack technology and defensive architectural principles. Guillaume Sicard's academy career is far from linear. He began in Rennes, the prefecture of the region of Brittany, where he had as teachers François Seigneur, one of Jean Nouvel's first partners, Jacques Ferrier, who is known for the French Pavilion in Shanghai in 2010, and Christophe Hutin, a disciple of Lacaton et Vassal and curator of the French Pavilion at the 2020 Venice Biennale on the theme How to Live Together. 
Before entering his master's degree in Versailles, the city of Louis XIV, he left for a third year of Erasmus in Brno. An hour's bus ride east of Prague, Brno is home to the Tuckenhat Villa by architect Miss van der Hoy. Inspired by The Unbearable Lightness of Being, written by Milan Kundera in 1984, Guillaume Sicard is confronted with a bipolar society, where the former communist bloc clashes with an ultra-Americanized youth eager for pleasure. Convinced of the social role of the architect, travel and encounters are for him the opportunity to understand the emergence of subtle signals linked to the evolution of societies. On his return from the mining basin of Moravia, he joined the École Nationale Supérieure de Versailles and thus discovered this royal city. The change is radical. This duality, filled with nuances, is also found in the name of his agency, RA, which means both RAW and the acronym for right and wrong. Because, according to him, architecture is a confrontation of points of view that is filled with nuances and dialogues. It is also a nod to Charles Lothar, Knight of the Hunter, with its love and hate inscribed on Robert Mitchum's phalanges. During these two years in Versailles, he integrated the notion of landscape with Georges Farah, or that of the culture of the architectural object with Emmanuel Combarel of the agency ECDM. He graduated in 2011 on a project in Fez, Morocco, which questions the notion of thickness and the emotions it brings. His professional experience began with François Leclerc, architect and urban planner, a multifaceted agency with about 60 employees, an urban planning division which has the metropolitan strategy of Marseille with Euromed, a facilities division with extensive expertise in wood construction, and a housing division supervised by Alexandre Fintesco, who has just set up his own agency, SAFE. He learned the plurality of his profession with the defense of housing as a factor of social progress, the landscape as an inscription in a territory, the use as a pleasure of living. Wishing to discover other ways of doing things after these two years of experience, he decided to privilege the discovery of other points of view before creating his own. It is in 2016, following an award-winning project on affordable housing in Besançon and a project for an equestrian center in a classified and floatable area, that Guillaume Sicard created raw architectures. His agency is composed of a small and multidisciplinary team. Considering that architecture is made by meshing, he groups the competences according to the projects. Each member participates and interacts at an equal level. However, the chain of decision-making is respected in order not to alienate the responsibility of the act of building. Guillaume Sicard believes in the mutualization of the strengths of small structures like his, which do things differently, which are therefore more flexible, more reactive, and which are socially committed. He has just graduated from the 2020 class of the Echelle 1 programme in Marne-la-Vallée, which offers the synergy between young structures. For him, being an architect is not just about building, it is about defending the general interest. His generation is that of the makers, the do-it-yourself and the walkers. It is necessary to multitask in the face of the major issues of today's society by consulting elected officials of all persuasions who know the territories in which we operate, the sponsors who know the value of the market and the financial possibilities, entrepreneurs and researchers who question past models to project the future, the inhabitants who are there and will be there after us. Thus, his projects bring together and seek to respond to the necessary adequacy between a site and a volumetric response. He expects the solution to reveal an idea of contemporary life, as much in urban practices and the relationship with nature, as in the private uses of spaces. He defends the pleasure of living through diversity, autonomy and belonging to a neighborhood. We can think of the project of the Santé Seigneur de Saint-André-de-Leur, on which they have thought about a plural city for young and old. It also defends the shared landscape, 
because in a globalized world which defends as modernity the city world, it made the choice to defend the village garden. It is a village where the inhabitants know each other, exchange and help each other. The framework of the city is mixed with the idea of a domesticated nature. It is a village that offers the qualities of living while preserving the intimacy of all. A village making the link between the town and the block. A village where gardens are on every floor. A village where I know where I live. The Wooded Hamlet project in noisy le grand integrates these different notions. Finally, since its inception, the agency has been very attached to questions of use. They are a pretext to reflect collectively on the ways of living in a place. Its practice takes a sincere look at the future and seeks to offer the best quality of use. We can mention the laboratory project of the real estate company ICAD in Paris. As for the world that is taking shape after the COVID-19, the agency was already questioning the inclusive factors of the city before this crisis. The constitutive age, as well as the ethnic origin or the gender, is a factor of discrimination in our societies. Guillaume Sicard chose to interview concerned citizens, specialist experts and elected officials who are listening to his questions. This is why he imagined the Spring of Winter project. The study will provide local authorities with the tools they need to face the major demographic transition underway. We must question the moment when our habitat no longer corresponds to our life course and anticipate the changes to come in a society in perpetual change. Guillaume Sicard believes that the future solutions proposed must be plural and contextual in order to bring a source of development to more inclusive cities that are more respectful of all ages. For him, living well means sharing with others and their diversity. Through his agency RAW, Guillaume Sicard is committed to developing projects to keep aging populations in the territories where they have flourished. For him, the next world is small towns or large villages. The future of urbanization. Dear listeners, thank you for listening. Let's meet again next week for a new Kamdashi in English. And until then, take care of yourselves. Goodbye. Thank you for listening. Don't forget to tune in to our previous content on Instagram at Kumdashi Podcast. If you like it, make sure to promote the podcast by giving it five stars on Apple Podcast and adding a comment or on any of your favorite podcast platforms. And don't forget to subscribe and listen to all of our episodes for free. See you soon. And until then, take care of yourself.